Hello, guys. Welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still on electro technology and three that is working on DC machines. We've got uh, a question that you're going to consider, which is uh, on a DC motor in this case. Uh, that is question number three. Uh, the first in part given to explain the operating principle of a direct current motor that is a DC motor in this. What is the operating uh, principle? All right, so I just want us to have this in uh, explanation uh, so that we can understand uh, in full uh, this part. All right, so we are given the first part that uh, in this case, a DC motor operates on a simp on the principle of the interaction between two magnetic fields. When a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field, an interaction takes place between the main field and the field due, due to the current flowing in the armature conductors. So this is how we are having the principal operation of a DC uh, motor in this case and uh, we've got uh, the second part of our question uh, that is uh, given in this case explain how a large DC motor can be started without damaging the motor or the motor circuit how can we start the, a large DC motor in this case without damaging it that is uh, the major part of our question so in this case, we are given that in the case for us to start a, a large DC motor can be started without damaging the motor or the motor circuit by inserting resistors in the armature circuit. So if we insert resistors in the armature circuit, that's preventing the damage in this case. All right, so that is uh, just two marks for that uh, explanation for your theory. And uh, question 3.3, .3, we are now given what is the other name uh, for hysteresis loss. So remember the hysteresis loss, these are the uh, magnetic losses. So here we're talking about the magnetic uh, losses in this case. So that's uh, just 1.1. So the major part that I want us to understand is on the calculation part where we are given in this case a torque of a, a, a DC motor. The torque of an 80 pole lip wound. So take note here. We are given this is an 80 pole where I said uh, P representing the pairs. You divide this by two. So A divided by two, which is four. So we've got uh, four pairs in this case. A lip wound. So meaning to say C is going to be two P, which is uh, two times uh, four. So that's two times four, which is uh, eight in this case. That's a DC motor is uh, 320 newton meters. So that is the torque of the machine is 220. So we're given the torque of this, which is uh, 320 newton meter. If the armature current is 160 amps, so we've got the armature current of uh, 160 amps and the number of armature conductors being 560 in this case, which is that the number of armature conductors 560, Determine the useful flux per pole in milliwebers in this case. So we need the useful flux per pole. Our answer is supposed to be in milliwebers in this case. So what can we uh, what can we do according to the information that we are given? We we have got uh, the talk in this case. This is the ma main part that you are given. Are you given the generated EMF or you are given the talk? So in this case, we are given the talk in this case where we know that this is uh, given from our formula sheet, actually from your formula sheet, you are given this as T is equal to 0, 0.318. That is our torque in this case times the armature current times the number of conductors in this case times our pair poles times the useful flux in this case over C. So this is what you're going to have everything over C. If you are using any other syllabus, you might find your formula for torque given as uh, T is equivalent uh, to the P times, in this case, all right, uh, let me just use this one, P times flux times Z times IA like this, everything over pi C like this. So the one over pi, this one, the one over pi is the one that gives us the 0, 0,318. Uh, so as 
we are focusing on this one. But I, like I'm saying, in other syllabuses or other ones who are, who are watching uh, for these engineering subjects you, uh, that we are doing, we might find our formulas just a little bit different on the presentation. It's simply one and the same thing. All right. Or we can have the one from the generated EMF, but in this case, we do not have any generated EMF. This information is the one that you're given here. So the question in this case is uh, for us to determine. All right, so let us get to the question. Our question is to find the useful flux, this one. So meaning to say we can make it the subject from our formula because we have got the useful flux here. So we can make it the subject. Uh, this is same as of over one. So we can uh, cross multiply in this case. T times C, that is going to be TC is equal to 1, multiplies everything on this side, which is going to be 0, 0,318. Uh, that is our amateur current times Z times P times the useful flux. So in order for us to find this useful flux, we can divide by this whole part here. We do not need this on the right-hand side. So we're going to divide by this part on the left-hand side. So meaning to say, uh, the useful flux is the one that is going to remain this part. All right, so if we remain, we are going to remain with our useful flux being equal to Tc on this side. That is a Tc over the part that we divided. Remember, we said we are going to divide with this part as it is. All right, so we are going to divide by uh, 0, 0,318 times the amateur current times the number of conductors times the paper. So this is uh, the formula that we have manipulated from the one that we are given for torque. Why we are given the torque, that's why we have to focus on this formula. By making the useful flux, we can substitute into uh, values. We've got the torque in this case, which is 320 Newton meter. So we are going to have 320 times C. Our C in this case is 8. Remember, it's lap wound, so that's why we have to multiply by 2. For a wave, that is C is equal to 2, just 2 like that. But for a, for a lap, you multiply by P, which is going to give us 8. Everything over uh, 0, 0,318 times the amateur current in this case, where we are given our amateur current is uh, 160 times... Uh, the number of uh, conductors in this case, which is Z, which is uh, 560. So we've got 560 times P, representing the pair poles in this case, our pair, we have, we've got four pairs in this case, out of four poles, out of eight poles, it means they are in a pair of four. There are four pairs of uh, uh, poles that we have. So meaning to say we are going to have our useful flux in this case, obtaining a value, uh, which is 0, 0,0224641 uh, webers like that. But we are asked that this answer is supposed to be given in milli webers. In this case, we are asked or we are given a condition that this flux is supposed to be given in uh, milli webers in this case. So what can we do? Milli, that is to the exponent of uh, negative 3. That is the milli web means to the exponent of uh, negative three. So to convert to the milliweb, what you simply do, you multiply by the inverse of to the exponent of negative three, which is to the exponent of three. So you simply multiply by a thousand. So if you multiply by a thousand, it means your answer is going to be automatical in the milliweb bus, which is going to be something like 22,46 and so on and so on, which is you round off to three decimal place, that will be 462. Uh, milli webers in this case, depending with uh, how you rounded off your answers. Maybe you rounded your answer at this stage, then it is going to be something like uh, 22,5 milli web. But if you round at the final answer at this stage, then it's going to be 22,462 milli webers. All the answers uh, that you're going to write there will be accepted in your, in your exams. All right, so this is how we could have calculated the useful flux from the talk that you're given all you need is to understand like i said the information that you're given here find a formula suitable for that information from your formula sheet then you can substitute your values or you can make that letter or or the part that that, that you want to calculate the subject before you substitute your values or you can substitute first then you can uh, calculate that value as it is uh so these are there are so many ways that you can actually find the executive value. That's it, guys, uh, from Maison African Motives till we meet again.